Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the shed. <laughs> my <name's, coughs> sorry, my name's Ian, and as always, you're all welcome. Did a video the other night, and again, thanks to Carl Lowry up there in Leeds, about 40 miles away from me, picked up on a little, little saying: "Take it, let's take it bits," and I've played on that a little. Well, some interesting comments and feedbacks on the last video I did, taking apart the heater and the lamp. You got me thinking. Several months ago, I got some equipment given to me, a lawnmower, hover mower, and I videoed that, trying to fix it. Ended up taking it bits. Totally. Never heard it. So I thought, why not? Let's check it bit number two. Have a lawn mower. The thing is, if you watch my other videos, you know I collect scrap. Well, scrap's just part of it, it's a little bit of a hobby. Makes money. But when I strip scrap, I don't do it in a cost-effective way. I ain't just doing it for the money. I like to see how things are put together. I like to see how to take things apart. I like to see how things work. Bit hard that because most of the things I get are broke. But this, this lawnmower, you're going to see. It's a typical example. Sometimes I don't like to be beaten by an inanimate object. I'll win in the end. As I say, my theory is, if man can put it together, then I can take it apart. So, watch this and see how I struggle with the flaming thing. Enjoy. Well, it's a lovely little lawnmower. It's, uh, it's a... A Bosch. Got go faster trim on it. It's got uh, easy leveling. Fold up handle. And uh, safety switches. But the guy who gave it me told me it trips his electricity every time he switches it on. So that means there's a problem with it. So I ain't going to try it. What we're going to do is do some basic, have a look at it. So we'll turn it over, first of all. Oh dear. I think we found the problem straight away. Yeah, look at that rat's nest. Bloody hell. Uh, it's certainly blocked up quite a bit. Look at the airflow. So, what have we got? Well, that's loose. Yeah. So, the winding seam. All right. I mean, how can you really tell? I don't know enough about motors to say get a multimeter out and start sticking it on points to see whether the motor's fine. Helps. So get her on her back, as the bishop said to the actress. So how's is that? Not to be thirteen milli, and indeed it is. Mm. Right, 
tighty tighty lefty loosey. I can see pain, blood and tears coming out of this. Or a broken rib. Alright. Ow. Hurt. What have we got to make your eyes so blue for? They don't mean what they say. That's a posy drive down that hole. So, what have we got? I've got a lot of grass. Uh, I suppose that ain't so surprising, seeing that it's a lawn mower. I'm going to have a play about. Well, with a little bit of persuading with a rubber on her, Come out. What does that prove to me? I don't know. Hang on. Let's uh, let the dog see the rabbit. Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit easier to work on this table. Yeah, so you can see. That ain't done at all. That motor is seized. What well, this bit intrigues me. Is that a clutch? Is that some sort of clutch that's stuck? Now, I'll get this belt off. And I'll probably take the armature out. Let's take all this plastic gunk off. Well, after a, lot of, after a lot of prying and trying, it seems that it's just a push fit burring into that socket. Well, that is still rock solid. So, I'll we'll take all that plastic casing off. Take that off. The bush is looking... Uh, a reasonable, the carbon brush is looking in a reasonable condition, but that is solid. I, in all the years of my time of playing with mortars, has never seen anything like that. There ain't no burning. So, I've decided that, oh, there we go. So we've taken the armature out of the status and they don't look burnt or anything. Ah, now we've got some movement. But what does that mean in English? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still intrigued with that. There's a washer and a spring assembly. I can't force that down. That's under some serious tension. Mm. I want to know why that's so stiff. I've tried screw driving that off and I can't. And now, It's kind of like why I like scrapping. It's not just about getting the uh, the metals out. It's figuring out how did they put things together. 
how do you take things if man put it together then man can take it apart of course they may have been put together by a Chinese robot so let's uh, do a little bit more I'll use my favourite hammer finally got that off Yep, clueless. Not got a frigging clue. Must have been just. I can only say it was pressed in. But oh, I don't know. I don't know. There's a big, there's a big nut under there. Let's have a look. Let's have a, let's have a bit more grinding. Interesting. You can tell from the red sparks. That's uh, stainless steel. Which can go in the stainless steel tub. This is cheesing me off now. Pissing me off. This is not stripping for cash. This is stripping and saying, I'm not going to be frigging beat by this. You see, there's a big knot. How did they put that knot? They put it in. They put it in. They put the knot on. They put the springy thing on, they put the stainless steel bit on, and then they put that shaft, then they put that gearing on. Oh. Oh. Was it pressed on? Was it screwed on? I'll find out. What beat me? Bit more grinding. I should have been an engineer or a fitter, but I ain't. Well, that burring, even with all the hacking and banging I've done, still spins round. I've still got that nut there. I've, I've just had a go with a spanner, uh, adjustable wrench, no chance. But it ain't going to beat me, because no, I ain't going to sleep tonight until I know how did that get on there. So I'm going to slice it all open with an angle grinder. Whoa! Be careful because I can see that has gone to straw coloured. Now you're going to purple. So that's that's hot. Well, I've cut through the knot, and the knot ain't threaded. So I'm still a little bit perplexed. I've cut straight through. I have cut straight through it. Aha! The truth! It's been pressed onto a spline. But I still don't know what made it uh, seize up. Uh, that way. That way.
turns this. Anyway, scrap, but interesting. Catch you in the next video.